InnerQuest explores various pathways through which you can connect with the infinite wisdom of the universe and apply it to personal, professional, and spiritual growth. This program, featuring accomplished practitioners, educators, and authors, is provided by Infinity Foundation, an innovative center for holistic studies and research. We invite you to share this journey with us. Hello, welcome to InterQuest. My name is Jay Stone, your host for today, and our guest is Yvonne Zarniak. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Well, uh, you'll want to stay tuned for this show. Uh, you'll get a chance to get off your chair, or, or at least move in your chair, or move in the couch. Uh, Yvonne's going to teach uh, or demonstrate some Tai Chi exercises later, and you'll have a chance to try them at home. Uh, Yvonne is a certified instructor of the Yang style of Tai Chi Chuan and a certified Eden Energy Medicine practitioner. Yvonne loves to teach fun, interactive classes to help people improve their health and feel their best. She is based out of the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. First of all, uh, Yvonne, tell our audience what is Tai Chi? Tai Chi is actually a Chinese martial art but um, nowadays, um, pretty much we use it for health and wellness and moving through the Tai Chi form to help balance our body and move the energy through. And how many different forms of Tai Chi are there? There are several different kinds of Tai Chi. The, the form that I teach is the Yang style version of Tai Chi. Uh, there's the Sun style, the Wu style, um, and, and they're all based on family names, the, the history of coming back from um, China. Um, there's also two different sets of Tai Chi form. There's a short form of Tai Chi, and then there's a long form of Tai Chi as well. And how long does it take to perform the short form of exercise? The short form is just a couple of minutes, but um, it's, uh, you, you do both sides when you're working with the form, so whatever you do, at, at least in the case of the form that I teach, whatever we do on the right, we do on the left as well. And what drew you to the particular style of Tai Chi? Uh, why you chose, why did you choose this, uh, the Yang style? The Yang style, it's the most popular really um, here in the United States right now. Um, so the classes are more, uh, readily available um, for us to to take here. And how many years ago did you start? Uh, I started Tai Chi 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what uh, changes have you noticed in your mind and body as a result of practicing Tai Chi? Well, um, I think the way to be able to calm down or relax, um, de-stress, as far as mind, mindfulness and being aware of my own energy or energies of others. Are, are you familiar with uh, Feldenkrais? Um, no, not really. Oh, well, motion, there's this, uh, it's called Awareness Through Movement uh, by Moshe Feldenkrais. Okay. And he was a martial artist and, uh, motion, and he was a scientist and he was crippled in an accident and he had to learn to, to go from lying to to sitting, to standing, to walking, to sitting, to lying again. So he had to teach himself how to move again. Okay. So, wow. So uh, so he just developed awareness through movement exercise, which is pretty much what Tai Chi is about, Correct. from what I understand from hearing from you. Now, you're going to be teaching classes at Infinity. Correct. And so how many weeks does your class go? How many minutes is a class? The class is generally an hour and we'll do a six-week session so the classes actually build on each other so we start with one you know class one and we go learn uh, several exercises in several single forms and then each week we will build on that so as you go through then you um, accumulate the form in a sequence and we'll have 12 single forms that we put together into grasp the sparrow's tail. Grasp the what? <laughs> 
grasp the sparrow's tail, and it's actually part of the form that you go through um, that how it was given the name, grasp the sparrow's tail. And why would one want to grasp the <laughs> sparrow's tail? Well, actually, the grasping of the tail is, is a martial art or a defensive move where you're coming around um, for a strike, but it looks like you could come around and grasp um, the sparrow's tail as you move through the form. Have you ever tried this on a real sparrow? No, I have not. <laughs> they yeah. won't come that close. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and then how uh, much time should one of your students practice at home once they learn the techniques? Well, ultimately, you want to practice Tai Chi every day. Um, it's better for your health, your energy systems, keep the energy moving throughout. But practicing at home is much different than practicing with your class. So a lot of times people don't um, always practice at home and do their homework. But if they could, to do it every day. Okay. Now, uh, I've seen people do Tai Chi in the park. Yes. Is that something you recommend? Absolutely, because then you're outside in the fresh air. You can um, be one with nature, and uh, the, the feeling is much different doing it um, outside and, than and inside. And people gawk at you. Yes, and people gawk at you as well, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. They're curious. Yeah, and so you, uh, any chance you'll take your class outdoors? It's possible. It's possible, yes. Yeah, yeah, especially in the nice weather. Now, are there any places that you regularly teach? I teach regularly um, for the Wheaton Park District and then now for Infinity. And um, I have taught classes as well with Mary and Joy Rehabilitation Hospital. Yeah, I'm going to hold up. Um, what's, what, uh, what is this? Uh, was it a DVD? It's a DVD, yes. And uh, tell our audience what's on this DVD. It's a seated Tai Chi DVD. And it's uh, set up into two uh, parts. One part is of tips and techniques working through the Tai Chi for, uh, form as seated. And um, the second part is a whole hour class of seated Tai Chi. So instead of standing with regular Tai Chi in beginning form, um, I've taken some of the Tai Chi forms and taken it to the seat so people that um, need to sit down or don't have the leg strength can actually do some Tai Chi um, sitting down and still be able to move the energy and balance their body. And did you develop this seated Tai Chi on your own? Uh, this particular um, DVD, yes, with, with the form, but there are many types of classes that are out there. Sometimes they call it chair Tai Chi as well. And is these exercises good for a healthy person maybe who works at an office? Absolutely, yes. If you needed to take a break and um, do some Tai Chi at your desk. Yes. Now, I, I noticed you, you, uh, this was done at a rehabilitation hospital. So were some of the people there have some disabilities? Or? Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Some were um, recovering from strokes and other people were um, in wheelchairs due to um, MS. And, and what kind of results were you seeing with these people? Um, they were happier and, and more balanced so that they're using both sides of the body, um, even though sometimes the body argues with you. <laughs> um, it just gives you a little bit more flex flexibility and strength. Uh, and what would you attribute the happier, the more happiness, health, strength, and flexibility to? Uh, the movements of the Tai Chi and clearing your mind. Mm -hmm. So when we're working with the Tai Chi form, we're, al we're also using specific uh, breathing patterns that match the movements that we use. So when, we, when you do that, you end up clearing the mind and taking deep breaths to feed your body a lot of good, healthy oxygen. Okay, that well, well, well sp uh, spoken. And... Uh, is there anything you want to add about the different forms of Tai Chi? Um, no, just that they're um, different family names. So some of the, the forms can be more open when you're going through the Tai Chi form. Some of them are more closed or rounded um, or more swirly as you're going through the Tai Chi form. And what, what, kind, what kind of Tai Chi do you do? Is it more open, more closed, more swirly? Uh, more, I, I believe more closed with, with the form. We're holding the Tai Chi ball um, quite often or having that shape with the arms um, around in front of you. 
Yeah, and, and does Yang refer to the family name? Family name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because, you know, I know the opposite of Yang is Yin, and, and yes. Yang is more closed, and uh, Yin is more open. Correct, correct. Yes, the opposite. And that's another form of, or another philosophy to the Tai Chi, is the Yin and the Yang. So you're open and you're closed. Um, you inhale and you exhale. And so while you're teaching uh, the Tai Chi movements, are the students also learning about the Tai Chi philosophy? Yes, I do throw in some of philosophy and um, some of the um, aspects of energy and how it flows in the body. Well, you want to talk about the energy <laughs> and how it flows in the body? I love energy. Mm -hmm. um, energy um, can be closed, it can be open, just like Tai Chi, and we want to pull the energy up from the earth energies and into the bottom. So you pull it up into the bottoms of your feet, it cycles through your body, and ultimately you want that to pull up all the way up into the upper body before it cycles back down. We also receive um, energy from above, so that comes down from into the top of the head, so you have a nice exchange. And so how are you pulling energy uh, up from the feet and down, down from, from for the heavens. <laughs> it would part of it is breathing, mm -hmm. and part of it is just the awareness of of what's going on after you've practiced with the tai chi or actually any energy work. You'll start to feel the energy and how it moves um, in you and around you. And how did you get started with tai chi? Um, I started classes at a park district and just continued on. Um, I went through my first several classes and I loved the way I felt when I was done. At first it was very difficult for me because it was so slow paced and my mind was busy. Um, a lot of mind chatter. Where, where, did you have an occupation or career before you got into it? I this? did. I did. My um, um, past life uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, occupation was an executive assistant, mm -hmm. so um, I was very busy helping other people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, a little stressed. And uh, have you noticed that uh, Tai Chi has helped you with your other family members about study, you know, how understanding their energy and how your energy oh, interacts with yes, the other people absolutely, in your family? Yes, absolutely, because you can um, tend to feel, um, in, in my case, I can sense or feel when, when people are a little bit more worked up or um, when something's bothering them. So then um, I can give them um, tips or exercises just to help calm down or even just to take a breath. Okay. Now, what, what about just like doing exercise together just to, to get you and and your family in rhythm and harmony um sometimes um although with children um they're usually more fast paced so that tai chi's can be a struggle for them when when trying to teach them to slow down or slow movements and uh well in china what age do children start uh, being exposed or learning tai chi that, I would, that's a good question i don't know yeah. That's a good question, yes. Yeah, because I'm wondering if children in China are, are different than children in America. They don't, you know, our lifestyle here in America is much faster. Yes. Uh, more high-tech, electronic, yes. music is different. Yes, And yes. also the freedoms are different here. Right. Uh, in China, you're, you know, yeah, because, zip it. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever been to China and studied with some of the masters? There? I have not. I have not been. Is to that China. is that a goal of yours? Uh, maybe ultimately at at some point in time. But um, right now I'm basking in just working with the energy and and sharing the Tai Chi um, here. And so, are you, are you continuing to learn with? Uh, teachers here in Chicago? Area? Sure, sure. Always, you know, you always learn more and more, and it's 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 good to keep pulling that knowledge in. Besides the moving meditation, do you practice some other form of meditation? Um, once in a while, yes. It's always good to be quiet and still the mind, and um, I like guided meditations as, as well, um, but it, it just depends on, on what's going on. Now, uh, you're also a certified Eden Energy Medicine Practitioner. Uh, can you, you want to talk a little bit about that and uh, how you work uh, as an energy practitioner with people? Yes. Um, I was drawn to the Eden Energy Medicine um, 
form and it helped me with it, my Tai Chi and that's I think was the draw to it because when I started to study with the Eden Energy Medicine it gave me the tools techniques and the words to explain to people what was going on with the Tai Chi um, with their energy because um, a lot of times I would see or feel things going on and I didn't know how to explain it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So the Eden Energy Medicine helped give me the, the words to, to share that. Now, do you do healings for people? Do you do work with clients? I do work with clients, yes. The Eden Energy Medicine works with nine different energy systems um, to help keep the body balanced. And you do a series of um, energy tests or muscle testing um, to see where the energy is and where it's blocked and where it needs help flowing and so then from there you would go into the energy system that it would apply to. And what kind of clients uh, come to you? What are the problems? Any kind of uh, problem really, um, stress, um, pain, um, things that um, are continually bothering them so it's repetitive like a, a pain in the hip, um, knee pain, um, headaches, mm -hmm. um, um, tightness in the back How and about shoulders. With more with psychological problems like anxiety, depression. Sure, um, anxiety is a good one because that's um, stress based as well. Um, I haven't worked with um, depression with with the Eden Energy Medicine, but I'm sure that the there's people out there that do. Yeah, I know there's more and more research on energy medicine. Uh, are you aware of any research with uh, Tai Chi or the Eden method? As far as? Well, you're showing the efficacy of, of oh. Tai Chi, the health benefits of oh, Tai Chi. Oh, absolutely. Um, many of the Mayo Clinic, many of the hospitals have done research with the Tai Chi um, and showing the results of um, uh, um, lowering high blood pressure, um, helping Alzheimer's um, patients um, with the Tai Chi, you know, with, with them practicing the Tai Chi form regularly, it, it has had their benefits for them. Well, and I'm sure, you know, the hospitals in, in China uh, and, and the physicians in China also research. I actually had a friend who learned to read and write Chinese and spent two years uh, doing research at a Chinese medical hospital. He's a physician now, works for Center for Disease Control. So, and he practices Tai Chi. Oh, what very about good. that? Yeah. yeah, very good. Yeah, so I. Help I, him de stress. Yeah, well, I knew the real reason why I went to China was to, you know, practice the Tai Chi at the famous park. Not, re you know, not so much to study medicine, but really to learn more chi Tai Chi. Um, uh, and I also wear that Tai Chi is often done very early in the morning. Correct. Correct. Yeah. It's a good way to get that energy moving and pulling up the earth energies and you'll have a really um, balanced rest of the day. Well, I know with the uh, five element theory, there's different organs active at different parts of the day. Is, is that part of it? Um, could be. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I know that that is part of the Eden Energy Medicine, working with the meridians and the, the prime time of certain organs on certain times of the day with that, but I'm not sure how, um, you know, the application with that with the Tai Chi form. Yeah, and what about like different movements for uh, different organs in the body or are there uh, certain movements, let's say for the liver, the kidney, the heart, etc.? Um, typically when I explain um, some of the Tai Chi movements, it has to do more with um, things that are going on with the body, not necessarily um, attaching it to an organ, but maybe uh, for arthritis or to help um, de-stress or to help ease the tension in your back and shoulders or your neck. So I, I haven't gone specifically with an organ, a movement in an organ. Yeah, but I'm sure there's, there's something there. I'm sure there is, absolutely. Okay. And, and when you improve the general health of the body, you're also helping to prove the specific organ. Correct, yeah. So I, I gotta make good on a promise, and that <laughs> is to give our, our audience a, a chance. So uh, I'll follow along, I'll try to go along with you, and um, you wanna, you know, I'll turn it over to you. Why don't you do some the seated exercises? Some seated Tai Chi. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, 
take from what's in your DVD or the classes sure, or, sure. or draw from your personal experience? Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, in working with the seated Tai Chi, you would want to um, scoot up in your chair so you're not leaning against the, the back of the chair. Okay. And you start out with your hands um, just on your, on your lap. Your feet are flat on the floor. And um, you, at first thing, you want to just take a deep breath in, in through your nose, and out through your nose. And the back is straight, and the shoulders are relaxed, so you want everything to just roll off the shoulders. And take another deep breath in, inhale, and exhale. And then to start with the Tai Chi form, we're going to do what's called upward downward. And you'll start with your hands down by your side. So you release your hands from your legs and hold them down by your side. And you're just going to pick them up, up in front, about shoulder height. You're going to pull back with the elbows, fingertips up to the sky, and down in front. So you're making a circle. And you reach down again, and you come around. Is there any significance in the circle? You're working with um, just pulling up the energy right now, matching well, both hands. Well, I would like to say that uh, I feel my hands are warmer. Yes. And like there are biofeedback devices that hook up to the hands. And if you can increase the temperature of the hands, it helps to it's a sign that the nervous system is relaxing so thank you oh you're very welcome now to add to this movement you want to add your breath in here so to continue on you would inhale as you go up and exhale as you come down and inhale now, would you recommend somebody doing this technique, let's Exhale. say, before they got on their computer? Oh, sure. Moves the energy around, loosens up the arms and the shoulders. It'll keep the energy flowing so that when you're sitting at the computer, you know, if you do a lot of computer work, your hands are rested and working out, and sometimes they get stiff as well as your shoulders when you sit too long. Now, can I use my imagination to envision the circle? Yes, you may. It's almost the size of a beach ball as you go around. Oh, I'm seeing the different colors now of the beach ball. <laughs> and we'll do one more. OK. Now, what we'll do next... i got a question. Sure. Now, is there a name for that movement? Upward, downward. Okay. And is it just to show, like, the balance? The balance, yes, as you go through it, and to find your center. So you match up both hands, both sides of the body, and match your breath in there as well. And it clears your mind because you focus on where your, your movement is with your breath, and everything is balanced because you're equal here. Okay. And... Uh, is uh, let's see the yin is the upward energy and the yang the yeah, downward yeah, energy correct yeah. okay yeah as you go through so you're creating balance yes excellent yeah. Yeah. let's that that was great oh, i I, re I really enjoyed it and i and i think i'm gonna incorporate it then because yeah. I, I do spend a lot of time at the computer what are, okay uh what's the next exercise well i can do one more that's um kind of fun to play with and that's actually holding i call it holding the tai chi ball so with your right hand you come up to the top we're going to hold the ball from top to bottom now bottom hand is at your dantian which is actually an inch below your belly button there top hand is at your chest or collarbone level here and holding this tai chi ball you keep your hands about the same um, distance apart as you make the movement and we're going to rotate the ball to the side. So you're going to rotate it as you bring it around and switch. Holding the ball. And again I'm feeling warmth in my hands. Yes, that's good. And you come back around. Oh I can see now I see the director uh, Dan Motters in the, in the studio. <laughs> doing it. Rolling the ball. <laughs> 
There you go. And again, this is about the same size as the beach ball as well, to give you a visual. Now, would you recommend this for pregnant women? Sure, um, although being pregnant, your hands are going to be extended out a little with, with, the, with the belly there. But a seated Tai Chi and the breathing would be excellent for a pregnancy as you move those hands around. So again, uh, inhaling when you're coming up? Correct. Or, and, well, at the same time, you got one hand coming up and the other coming down. Yes, but to practice this as a single form, I recommend that you do an inhale for one rotation and then an exhale for the other. And then you smooth out your breathing as you go, as you focus on that uh, movement um, with the breath work. And then holding your hands at, in the, at this point, I like to have people shrink up their ball so it's real small and you get to play with this little Tai Chi ball. I could, I could actually feel the energy between the hands. Right, and, and for people that don't sense energy so much, when you bring their hands together in a small, smaller ball here, they have a tendency to be able to feel it pretty well when you rotate the ball. The hands could tingle, they could warm up. Um, there are different sensations as they can actually feel the rotation of the ball or the smoothness of the ball as they play with the, the smaller Tai Chi ball. It's just something to kind of play with and it'll clear your mind and help you de-stress this simple technique. Now, earlier you talked about gathering energy from above and uh, energy from below. In this simple exercise, where where would be getting? So let's say this as this hand comes up, is it, am I gathering energy from the heavens? Yes, you could you could do that as a as a rotation as you pull one up and one down um, from above as you pull that energy and and bring it together at your center or at your core with the, the tai chi form. Now. Um, Neither of these exercises seem uh, that a person could do while they're driving. You know, is there, is there something besides the breathing someone could work on while they're driving? Because a lot of people stress out in traffic. Right. Um, I would suggest um, the deep breathing. We do a lot of cleansing breaths when we do um, the Tai Chi form. And that, you know, it's just what it sounds like. It's cleansing within. It helps balance your emotions and your energies in your body when you could do that. So a lot of times I'll tell people when they come to the stoplight in the car, take a deep breath, do a cleansing breath. And, and I guess they, someone could do this one. You at, could. At a stoplight. Sure, sure. But you still have to pay attention to, you know, your, your lights and the traffic. So that kind of pulls your attention away. Um, another technique that you can do that brings your uh, awareness into your body is wiggle your toes. Oh, okay. Well, I think we have to cut it there. Uh, for more information about Yvonne Zarniak, Zarniak yes. in Infinity Foundation or InterQuest talk show, stay tuned to the credits at the end. Until next time, wish you good health, good fortune, and good spirits. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you very much. For more information about this show, our guests, Infinity Foundation, or any of our other programs, please visit our website, infinityfoundation.org, or call us at 847-831-8828.